the cookies are little tracking codes that are put on your browser whenever you visit a certain website. So those websites put those tracking codes to identify a specific user who has visited a specific website. Um, the browser then uses that cookie to serve you ads in future and to be able to customize information for you in future when you come to visit the same website again. So um, it depends on which side of the divide you sit on. So cookies are good in that they can be able to customize for you your browser experience. What that means is uh, if I put a cookie on your browser, I can be able to not ask you to log in every time because I know who you are. Once you log in once, I know who you are and I can keep your login information. Um, I can also be able to do things like show you uh, customized content to what you, ex what you go through on the site. So that is a good thing. Um, however, um, cookies can also be used to track your browsing information across many different sites and therefore be able to show you very customized ads. Um, and sometimes this is viewed as a bad thing because I want my browsing information to be private. Um, so depending on how you look at it, cookies can be good or they can be bad. One of, one of the major functions of uh, a cookie is after I've put it in your browser, I can be able to tell that you visited my site. That is, I can use it for analytics. So a lot, most of the times cookies are used as that as the primary function, to be able to track the user who has visited a site and say, uh, this person visited, they stayed on the site for this long, they did click on this number of pages, this is the agenda, this is their age, based on their interests. So uh, as, as, as you continue to, 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 um, uh, to use a site, it might ask you to give in to accept certain cookies. So because of GDPR, now websites are required to tell you we are tracking you because of uh, this. We want to give you a cookie that will show you ads. We want to give you a cookie that will um, customize your browsing experience or whatever I will use the cookies for. Now, um, because of that GDPR, uh, you are required to inform your visitors of what you're going to use each of those cookies for. So when you go to a website, you'll notice that they will, first of all, ask you, you must accept the cookies so that, of course, they can get browsing information. If they don't get information on who you are, it's just as good as you did not visit the site. Then they will tell you, do you want us to put all cookies or do you want us to put tracking information only or do you want us to use your, the cookies to show you ads? Okay. So as you are choosing which cookies you want to be shown, be uh, always it's very important to choose the cookies that only show you uh, that only show tracking information um, that they don't sell that information about tracking to a third party so they can show you ads so it's critically important for them to show you because of compliance with gdpr and it's uh, critically important for you to know which cookie you have agreed to be installed on your browser because then it means whether your information is being sold to a third party or your information stays private. Most uh, sites will not allow you to continue without cookies for tracking, that is for analytics. Um, however, you can choose to leave out all the other cookies. They'll tell you they'll put for you some cookies to, to show you better ads, to show you uh, better, give you better access, whatever the cookies are. You can choose the ones that you want to give to that website and you can choose the ones that you don't want. Um, so the first, first, the one you can always give is give the one for analytics information, but leave out all the rest. The rest are not necessary. As I said at the beginning, so uh, cookies are also used to customize your browsing experience. So developers will put in a cookie to be able to um, say, for example, save your information so that you don't have to log in again. But there may be a change on the site uh, that requires you to re-log in again to access these changes. So they might tell you to clear your your cookies or your cache. Uh, cache is a is a, a downloaded version of the website that is lighter, uh, so that you, every time you visit a site, you don't have to re-download everything. So when you clear your cookies, it also clears your cache. Um, so a developer will tell you clear your cookies or clear your cache, especially if a site is in continuous development. However, um, developers are able to include it in the website such that a cookie expires after a certain period of time. Can tell you it is a day, 24 hours, 36 hours, they can decide. Even for the cache, they can say it will expire after a certain period of time. So if they want you to experience a new feature quickly, they'll tell you to 
clear your cache before you continue browsing. So there are browsers nowadays that are coming up with that are privacy centric um, and um, and they want to prevent people from being shown too many ads. Some of those uh, browsers um, are freely available on the internet and you can download them and you can be able to use them to browse without your information being collected. Okay, so even if it, a cookie is stored, it will not be stored for long enough for other third parties to access it. Um, another way that you can be able to browse the internet without having to have your information collected or a cookie stored on, on your browser on your behalf is by you going private browsing. If you're going to a website that you do not trust um, for one reason or the other, or you do not want to have the cookie from that website stored on your browser, you can go to uh, incognito mode or uh, what some browsers call a new private window. So when you go to that, it means that the uh, the information you are that the cookie that is put on your browser will not be stored after the session closes. So when you close the browser, the cookie is removed from the session. Finally, uh, there is a lot of movement towards um, uh, cookies not being downloaded on people's devices, um, especially computers and phones and devices like that. The people who have started that movement are Apple. Uh, now they are prevent they are protecting a lot of their users information by preventing a lot of cookies from being downloaded so we'll see a lot of uh, developers and website makers in the future changing from working with um, uh, cookies to other methods of collecting information like now they will require you to log in with your social media information so they don't require you to have a cookie so they know who you are because you've logged in with your social media information so there's a lot of movement towards that direction so very soon, even that notification for uh, accept all cookies or accept some cookies will start disappearing.